Okay, I'm having trouble with a button now. There we go. Oh, come on! It's like, how in, it's like how in the Star Wars movies, although they're lightsabers, they never seem to light up any environment. Yeah. Okay, so I need to find something to lay on the bomb, lay on there, so probably a bomb will do. Nope. Well, the thing about the lightsabers is they're designed so that energy is only a, energy and light are only ever emitted when they hit something. So they're invisible. Otherwise, they would have to. Ta um. Um. They were, from what I've read, they were like. <laughs> The proto lightsabers had to have these like giant energy packs with them, so they were almost never used until they invented a way that would redirect the energy back into the handle into a continuous loop, um, unless you were actively in the process of cutting something. Um. Um. Well, they didn't do that in Clone Wars. In the original Clone Wars, they actually did light up the place. Um. Go go to the ledge where it looks like it's just covered in dirt. Sort of, I guess it's to the right of the entrance. And then you climb up there, and then you'll go in this big circle, and you'll come around to where you can push a block. It's right across from the barred door. Okay. Matt, were you talking about the uh, CGI Clone Wars or the, like, five-minute cartoon shorts? The shorts. I haven't seen the CGI series. The shorts were the best thing to come out of the prequels, in my opinion. They're some of the best things to come out of Star Wars, let alone the prequels. Oh, they just... A, they were stylized, and B, they... My dad pointed this out to me, like, they actually, unlike the movies, had the balls to show Anakin really lose his shit. Which the movies yeah. didn't do until, like, the end of the third. But also, it had a lot more heart to it. Like, there, there are so many scenes where there's just no dialogue at all, and it's just still telling a great story. The, uh, the one where Mace Windu is fighting that, like, entire invasion force on his own is probably the best Without fight his scene. saber as well. It's freaking awesome. He's force-punching the shit out of these robots, oh and it's great. Oh my god, Why? I'm trying to climb it's up like and... There's a one well, because... The camera an angle keeps switching, so it keeps switching where I'm facing. Oh my god, this game is so fucking... It's so dated. At some point, we will play a Star Wars game on this, so we can have a proper Star Wars conversation. Yeah, we will. I have some. I have a couple of Star Wars games. Oh, that's a fairy that Do I just missed. you have Shadows of the Empire? Uh... I, hang on, I gotta... How do I bottle this thing? You just, just use the button that has the bottle. Oh, cool. Okay, then I caught it. Ha ha! I have. I don't. I think I have a Super Nintendo Star Wars game that I can't. Um, like one of the Super Trilogy. Super Empire Strikes Back. That one's awesome. Yeah. Hard as balls, but it's awesome. Oh, good. <laughs> I was really looking like, for the. the the, the, the SNES games were really well made, yeah. but they are really difficult. Yeah. Like, mode 7 is hell as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really ask for much more from Super Nintendo. Fucking. Okay. Back That's in the, the day when Star Lucas Wars Arts... out there based on the original trilogy. Well, really, LucasArts in general, back in the day where they made games other than Star Wars, their games are really good. It's just now that everything has to be Star Wars oh, that they kind of milk themselves dry. Well, LucasArts no longer exists. Whoops. Well, which is the yeah. saddest fact. Because they were going to make a, a Boba Fett game, and that got cancelled, and now they've recently just like put the final nail in the coffin on that one, even though it looked kind of cool. Okay. Well, they already had well, the, I really want... one Bounty Hunter game. Yeah. Shit! I mean, I really want, like, an open-world, sort of, Elder Scrolls-styled Star Wars game. Um... Like, you don't have to be a Jedi, you could become a Bounty Hunter. Damn it. I feel like for the Star Wars MMO, they were talking about introducing a mechanic where you couldn't choose to be a Jedi 
just random characters would uh, be they, they did that in sensitive. galaxies. Yeah, it, in galaxies they had this thing where you could because it was based on the original trilogy, not the prequels. Um, there weren't any Jedi's around at the, at the time, other than Luke Skywalker. So, um, and maybe Obi Wan and Yoda. I'm not entirely sure exactly when it was set, but the um, the idea was every only like one person in a million or something could become a Jedi because they were force sensitive. But when they became a Jedi, they would be like an announcement would go out across the entire servers saying this per a new Jedi is born or something. <laughs> So everyone knew it was a Jedi, and they'd be after them. And then they did change it so you could just choose to be a Jedi, which pissed off a lot of players that went through this really lengthy court. Because it wasn't just you were born a Jedi, you had to go through like lots of challenges to actually get the rank. As you would think it should be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Old Republic is set in a time when there are just Jedi's there, so it makes sense. Yeah. Jedi's are a much more common thing in that time. Am I gonna Granted, need... I chose to be a bounty hunter, because you get a jetpack. <laughs> Am I going to need the slingshot very much for this fight? For the boss Not battle. at all. Okay, good. You need your wits. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Well, so, we're doomed. So I'm guessing I have to use bombs on this some bitch. Oh yes. The dongos don't like smoke. Do not the taste. Hint, hint. 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 I already got this speech. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Remember when fighting the bats you have to shout into the microphone. <laughs> wait. Um Wait a minute. I'm confused. I wonder why they didn't bring that back for a link between worlds. There's a microphone. Because on people the don't like shouting into their microphone, I imagine. You could just whistle. I like that bit of advice when you get the bombs. If you see something suspicious, blow it up. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, I don't like this. Oh no. Let's hope our Homeland Security departments don't uh, take up that advice. Oh god, I don't. Oh god! King Dodongo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh. My body was not ready. <laughs> Uh, throw it! Don't just drop it! Throw it, dipshit! Oh, I guess it did something, because I heard it go... Ah! Oh, God! Okay, being I'm I can't... I'm this fight isn't going well. I can't see anything! He fucking... Oh, my God, he dominates the stage. I can't actually see anything. You can actually stand on the very ledge of the lava to avoid him. Don't use your parry at all, by the way. Okay. Okay. It'll auto use if yeah, you die. Yeah, I know. That's how these games are. He's rolling right now. Oh no. See, the problem is, like, I'm running from him, so I can't see what he's doing, so I don't know when he's open for attack. But if I don't run from him, he's gonna hit me. Oh god. Do you have an idea of what you're supposed to be doing, by the way? No! I'm pretty sure I'm bombs. supposed to be throwing my bombs in his mouth. Yeah, you got it. But, every time I get to in a way to... Oh, I think I did it. No, I threw it at... Okay, so I gotta wait for him to open his mouth. Open your mouth. Throw! Oh, good. I do kind of like the idea that his weak spot is the thing that kills you. There's no, there's no bushes for more power-ups. Oh shit! You can use the bomb plants instead of your own bombs. Oh, I have plenty of bombs. It's just I don't have very much health. 
Oh, right. Come on, open your mouth, you motherfucker. Okay, open your mouth. I'm just getting... Open yeah, your mouth. No, I, I have no idea how well you're doing. Not well, because I can't throw far enough. <laughs> you gotta get close. I'm going to die. Oh, you got God. a fairy. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. He's gonna hit... He's gonna roll It over. totally matters. Well, if I haven't... Yeah. If I'm not sure of what I'm even doing... Because it's... Okay, I'm pretty sure he stopped. No, he's still rolling. I was wrong. Okay, there we go. He's no longer well, rolling. Well, Zilla said if you stand at the edge of the lava, he'll roll past you. Okay. Oh my god, why did you put down the bomb? bomb? Oh my god, I can't do this. this. The controls of the game are so fucked up. Like, I was... Okay. So, you have to press the button for him to throw or drop the bomb, right? But I just... Yes. ...chose the bomb with the C, with the C button, and he just put it down automatically. It's like, no! I want you to throw it! But I didn't even press the blue button for him to do anything with the bomb. He just did shit with it. He's like, fuck you, I'm gonna do what I want. Okay. Fucking serious time. Throw it! Oh my god! You really have to be all up in his shit in order for that to throw at him. Do 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 Part of the thing when he's rolling, if you turn a corner, he's going to hit the wall. Oh, that's, that's why. Should. That's why. Okay, alright, now that works. So that's why I just dropped the bomb, because he hit me with fire. Oh my god. Throw it! There we go! And if you effectively get him, then it halts his attack. Okay, that's good to know. How many times do I have to do this, by the way? <laughs> like, eight? Uh, as many times as you can sword him with it. SHIT! Okay. Yeah, yeah after you bomb him, him, you need to stab. Ah, oh, shit, really? <sighs> Traditional Zelda tactics. Stab him the hell up. Fuck. Why is this so complicated, then? It's not really that complicated. Yes, it is! It is. Okay. There's the slimmest of possibilities that you're just terrible at this. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you throw a bomb in his mouth, it blows up, and then you stab him a lot. Well, like... Why can't the bomb just hurt him like traditional Zelda enemies? Traditionally, the bomb would actually do the damage. Because that'd be really easy. <laughs> he still takes damage from the bomb, just you stab him for more. And every Dodongo fight I've seen, the bombs just stun him. The bombs just stun him. Like in, uh... I think it's Oracle of Where'd he go? Seasons you have to fight him, and the bombs just stun him, and you have to use the power bracelet to throw him onto the spikes. Where'd he even uh, go? Yeah, like that. Oh, there he is. Okay. And I learned this because I spent an hour and a half throwing bombs in his mouth, wondering why he was never dying. Fuck, too late. Too late, and I'm on fire, so I'm probably as good as dead. Oh, fuck. No! Fucking Z-targeting! Oh, and it's too late anyway. See, now, the fire shouldn't go around the corner. That's too it much. Should. No, no it shouldn't. That's too much. And now I can't control myself because I'm Z-targeting. Because Z-targeting is bad, fire too. acts like a gas. When it hits an obstacle, it spreads around it. It does. It spreads around it. Yes, it doesn't directly bounce off. Oh my god. <sighs> At least it doesn't hurt you just for being like moved around by his tail. 
the window for attack is so small, too. Did you die? Yes. Dear fans of this game, go ah. fuck yourselves. That's so bad. <sighs> Jesus. I honestly thought like giving this a game this game a shot past the Deku tree would actually give me some insight on it that maybe I was wrong. But it's still a confusing fucking mess. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. It's just more... It... I don't know. It's like I never had this much trouble when I played it as a kid. You fucker. <laughs> just run into the next room. Well, oh, I can't... <sighs> you don't get XPs. I know. It's just really frustrating that I can't even actually target them sometimes. Z-targeting is incredibly random. I don't have my fairy this time. I'm fucked. So long as you uh, like stick to the plan, you know, use the corners to your advantage because you get the most space. Well, the problem is he starts so off can... at the opposing corner. Like, he fills an entire corner. But to get to him, you have to be hella close. And in order to get that close, you're pretty much... Like, right now, I just lost my... I, I just lost my opportunity to attack. You know? The attack opportunity is so small. Like, you really have to know what corner... See, there. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna do it. Because by the time I grab that bomb... I still bomb, have the delay, so I've only just saw this... The fight's only just started for me. Okay, when you say see there, we're seeing five seconds ago. Oh my god. I'm seeing five years ago. <sighs> okay. Matt's still watching Dragon Warrior. Yeah. Oh my god, grab the fucking bomb. Okay, good. And throw it. Okay. Boom. And attack profusely. Now get the fuck out of there! I said get out of there! Why are you not moving? I would suggest after you throw the bomb, just release the Z-targeting. Shit, where'd he go? Okay. And I wasn't close enough. Try to... Oh my god! It's the fact that you have to constantly switch back and forth between modes of play. The Z tar Like, it's just going between the Z-targeting. Making the Z-targeting a ne necessity. It's just sloppy. Shit, I'm not gonna make it there either, so I gotta fucking... Again, I have no idea where your tar weakness with Z-targeting comes from. And I'm dead again. I can't do this. He... He breathes in the fire before he's about to shoot it for a long time. No, it's not a... It's, well, it's not long enough. You just move too slowly. Because the thing is, the bombs are in... The, he When it, he starts, he starts in the opposing corner of where you can get the bomb. So you get the bomb, you run towards him, and by the time you're there, close enough, because you have to be right in his face to throw the bomb in his mouth, that's when the fire comes out, and you just put down the bomb and take damage. And even if you try to run from that, 
you're going to take damage anyway because those corners where you hide from him for the whenever he rolls, it doesn't matter because the fire hits there too. So essentially, unless you do it, doesn't it hit, huh? It doesn't. It, the the fire goes to the corners, but it doesn't actually go to the full corner. But if you stay near the lava in the corner, you've actually got a lot more space. Oh, I'm apparently doing something very wrong, and it's really getting here. You need to. Well, it is. It is a lot easier if you use the bombs that you have and not the fire flowers. I've never used the fire flowers in that room. Okay, I'm gonna try that then. Basically, you've got to try to get in front of him. When he when he rolls, he'll crash into the wall he's rolling into, and I then he'll start walking to recover. So you try got to try to get close to him at that point, then throw your own bomb. I think the big issue I had was I forgot I had my own bombs. Oh. And as long as you're holding forward, then you'll throw instead of placing them. Yeah. Well, I got that figured out. I'm just trying to apply it practically, you know. Dang it, iTunes, not now. <laughs> oh, that fucking updater that shows up at random times. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's in the Oh, you're talking about me in the stream. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say, Tim, iTunes, you, not, you know... <laughs> <laughs> we need to work on our communication. Oh my god. Alright, so here we go with attempt three at uh, King Dodongo. Uh, His name is rather suggestive. <laughs> it's got dongs in it. Oh my god, why can't those yep. bombs still be there? Uh, I got half a ration of bombs here. All right, so I think I, I think I have an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, come on, there we go. Throw it. Oh, what? Okay, I'm gonna give it a second for you fuckers to see that, and I want you to explain to me what the hell that even was. I can't okay. explain that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I haven't seen it yet. One second, I'll have a rational explanation. Go ahead! You come up with one! You held the bomb too long. What? You held the bomb too long. Oh. Ah, uh, oh. did he? <laughs> Shit! Probably. And I just That's missed. That's the only explanation I have. It just blew up in his hands. So. Either that, or... Maybe... Oh, I'm trying to think of what must have happened if it was like a... Uh, there was a moment where the actual effect of the fire happened before it appears. Which is weird, to say the least. Okay, there we go. No, the second one you the second one you did hold on too long. Yeah, the second one I fucked up. I know yeah. that. The first one was absolute bullshit. You have time to not take the bomb out until he starts opening his mouth. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I, I think I might have something now. I wonder what the boss's lives are like in, before Link turns up. Oh man, I ain't got nothing to do. This is bullshit. I'm just enjoying Oops. my lava bath. Shit. It's what I do. Oh no, get out of the lava! <laughs> feed on? Huh? Uh, what does the King Dodongo eat? It's clearly not bombed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the whole thing is Ganondorf has been feeding him Gorons. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really morbid for a game like this. <laughs> Whoa! No, not that Gorgon's side! Done a lot of Other side! Things. Other side! Oh my god. And now you're in the lava. Yeah. How far behind am I? <laughs> Pretty far. I think I... Did I kill him? Did I do it? Did he roll Maybe. into the fire? Um, he's rolling around and he's he's a little drunk and I oh my god he's yeah, dead you're good. he's, you're good. You he's got him. dead I just wanted to play I'm sorry for how he dies I mean yeah he's rolling around at the speed of dead like rolling around at the speed part. of 
<laughs> Fuck. And his death leaves his body so cold it completely solidifies the rock. Oh my god, it only it took it took mass amounts of frustration to That seems to be how I'm doing this game. Like I just get so fucking frustrated that I just do it. We are trying to help as best possible. <laughs> yeah. But hey, you're uh, two dungeons into the game. Oh, yay. And how many more? Nine? At least? Roughly. Yeah. There's some, like, <laughs> side stuff that's imperative. Yeah. I'm just glad that's over with. So, do we go straight to another dungeon, or is there, like, little exploration bits now? Um, there's some things you can do uh, that are advised. Okay. I do like this cutscene. Ganondorf. Like, you, one thing you can do is go to the top of the mountain now that you got bombs. Right. Which is, um... You'll get a power-up. Contextually is a weird thing to describe a, 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 an upgrade in Zelda, I guess. Yeah. Now, he says that Ganon said he'd open up the cave if they gave him the stone, but any of them could have opened up the cave. You just throw a bomb at it. Yeah, it was, the question yeah. of it was getting rid of King Dodongo. I get the impression that rocks don't make for good brains. Goron's Ruby. Alright, so this is the equivalent of the second pendant. Yep. Except it's prettier. It doesn't share a sprite with the other two. Brother! You can also Yo. sell it on for fat loot. Yay. Well, not in this game, just... But like, if I was Link, I'd probably not make a good hero. Yeah. You'd sell everything everybody gave you. You'd be, like, you'd be in town you being can try like, to pawn it off. <laughs> try to pawn it off, but the guy there can only give you twenty for it. <laughs> you'd be, uh, you'd be, uh, you'd be in town. You'd be like, "Hey, I got this." What the fuck just happened? It's like you got. I got this thing here that if you see those bomb plants around, you can actually use them with this. And you just set, and they're like, "Here, you see the sword? I found the sword." It's like that's the village's treasure. Oh shit, I gotta go to another village and sell it. <laughs> Give it to someone who can actually fight. Yeah. I've oh, never swung a sword one before of the in my guards. life. Oh my god, that fucking... <laughs> that son of a bitch. I mean, you you guys just get sticks. <laughs> it's no wonder you lost the war. Go up to the guard. Look, you are clearly better trained and equipped to do this than I am, so... I've just come back from the future. You're going to die. <laughs> okay, so you say I can See, go there's to... this guy, Ganon. He hangs out with the king. You have to go kill him. <laughs> now. <laughs> Stab him a lot. Wow. Alright, so... Um, I... I believe... If you go away from the um, entrance to the Gerudo's... Or not Gerudo Valley, to the uh, Goron's place you'll see a um diamond shape along the cliff wall that's paler than the rest of it and you can bomb there for i th think it's a great is it a great fairy pool yeah, or there's something you gotta back go up there. the mountain the great fairy's at the top of the mountain okay but there's i believe he passed something he can bomb just before we got up here i don't remember what's inside of it okay i'm trying to see if i can find more bombs which I'm guessing is a big no. When I go through, I'm going to call this episode, this episode is the bomb. <laughs> You've been slacking on that lately. On the going through. I have. I need to get on that. Yeah. Okay. 
Did I remember the right song? Yeah, I did. Yay! I actually remembered a song. Okay. Where are you? Because I'm just seeing you throwing rocks around. Yeah. I think he, he's still there. He just played the sun song. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, let's just refresh this and see if it's any quicker. Alright, so on the way up, there was a pale bit of wall that I missed. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, you're right by the pale wall now. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're, like, right up to date now. It seems it you've just blown it up now. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're uh you're right up to date. That refresh you're ahead of me. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, a purple rupee. That's useful. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 50. Yeah. Did you do that on purpose, See, Mike? I don't know why you can't just like put it in his mouth or something. It's only one rupee. <laughs> put it in his hat. What, does he el what else does he keep in there? Did you do that on purpose? I had no recollection of what was in there, just that it was something. <laughs> okay. Read the sign. Oh, uh, we, gotta, we gotta do more bomb timing here. <laughs> uh, mountain Summit. Oh, do I gotta blow these rocks up? Yeah. Not just just the last two, not that okay. first one that the sign's pointing at. Okay. I'm almost out of uh Oh, oh my. Okay, I see. I see where you said bomb timing for cuz I have to throw this fucker. Oh shit, I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so, it's like what the fuck is going on? Blink. Blink, you need to stop. 